this weekend is being called the biggest season opener ever for college football. The highlight is number one Alabama against number 20 USC at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. There's a lot more than school pride at stake. This game is actually a lesson in history. Fox Sports' Lori Brown is at AT&T Stadium now with the story. Lori. Heather, when USC and Alabama take the field here tomorrow, people will see two diverse teams. But that was not the case when the two teams met in 1970 in a game that helped change history. It's a game that's brought thousands of fans thousands of miles. Oh, Todd. Oh, Todd. <laughs> and while tomorrow's first matchup between the two teams in 31 years will be exciting for football fans, it was a game between them in 1970 that is said to have changed history. The story is profiled in the book One Night, Two Teams and the game that changed the nation. The author, Stephen Travers, is in Dallas this weekend for the game. Bear Bryant wanted to integrate his program. He needed a, do, a way to do it seamlessly. Once Governor Wallace was no longer in office, he now had the political opportunity to do it. One of the players written about in the book is Dave Brown. There are two iconic coaches involved in that. It was John McKay, our coach, great coach, and Bear Bryant. Apparently they got together and they'd set this game up in advance. McShane, that's really a great truck you got there, man. Full disclosure, he is my father-in-law. At the time, did you know that you were going to be a part of history? It wasn't anything I think we were aware of as a team. He just said, we're going into hostile ground. Be prepared, men. Brown says he could tell blacks in Alabama were proud when they saw the black players on the USC sideline. But there is one reaction he never forgot. And all of a sudden, this little boy who's about seven or eight, he looked at his mom and he says, gee, mommy, they sure got a lot of ends on this team. And uh, it was shocking to hear that. When the Trojans took the field, an all-white team looked back. We had more athleticism, we were, we were faster, we were stronger, and um, uh, we had a great night. The Trojans ran away with the game, winning 42-21. to 21. Bryant was the losing coach, but his plan worked. Having something of a demonstration of a, what, a, what an integrated team would look like. And he wanted his fans to look at and, and say, you know, I'd like us to look like that. Alabama integrated the next year and proceeded to beat USC 17 to 10. Today, Brown teaches high school history, including the part he saw firsthand. It is possible for people to work together. You know, they've just got to find the way and possibly by the grace of God, I think uh, uh, that's the message that people need to know now. And that was the message that was displayed uh, back in 1970 in that game. It is said that Sam Bam Cunningham did more to integrate Alabama in 60 minutes than Martin Luther King did in 20 years. Whether you believe that or not, it's a reminder a game can sometimes be much more than that. Travers' book concludes that Coach Bryant and Coach McKay were two of the unsung heroes of the civil rights movement. A movie about that September game is now in the works. Heather? All right, good story, Lori. Thank you.